Welcome everyone to Midday Magazine for this April 23rd, 2024. Have your host James with you. I am looking forward to being joined in part two at 3.30 by our good friend Amy from the Family Center. Looking forward to talking with her. Right now in studio, we got our friend Lacey Ailing, Events and Engagement Director with the Heart of Wisconsin Chamber of Commerce. Lacey, good to see you. Good afternoon, James. Thanks for being here. And as you do from time to time, Lacey, you brought a friend with you. Yes, it's my favorite thing to do. Yeah, we want to welcome Tanya here. Tanya coming to us from the leadership class. Tanya, thanks for being here. Excited to be here today. I yeah, appreciate the time. Thanks. We'll talk with you more in a moment. Uh, Lacey, I know that uh, we've got a lot to cover. We want to get right into it because you guys are so busy over there. And do want to send a shout out to you and your team at the Chamber doing such great work in this community. Uh, and one of our favorite events is coming up, Lunch by the River, Gather by the Gazebo, uh, all these great events coming up. Yes, coming up quick. It's this year has flown by. I was just thinking about it. It's gonna be May. it's gonna be May soon, and I'm like, oh my goodness. When um, did that happen? I know. Yeah, when, when I'm like, I don't really remember March or April no. really like being a full month, but here I, we are. I, I don't. I don't remember uh, like yesterday. I, I, I the yeah. time is a flat circle. It's just yeah. I think the weather and like the winter that it hasn't really felt like wintery. I think yes, we're just kind of like it, of it. it's not yeah. taking as long as we thought. But yes, absolutely, we're planning lunch by the river. Um, I'm still looking for entertainers for July 11th, August 1st, and August 8th. Um, so if you are interested, please reach out to me um, at communications at wisconsinrapidschamber.com, um, as well as I have a few, just a handful of sponsorship dates left. So I have an exclusive sponsorship for May 30th, July 18th, and August 15th. So they are the only sponsor that would be at that event. Um, you could have a booth, you can have swag, you can have, um, if you want to educate, if you want to um, use, you know, use that time to kind of reach a lot of different demographics, absolutely think it's a great idea to come down. Um, and then we also have some co-sponsor dates so you would be sharing that date with other businesses and that is july 11th august 8th august 22nd and august 29th um, so please reach out if you have any interest in kind of showcasing your your business there um getting down during the lunch lunch hour time and um you know just hanging out with co-workers doing some fun activities we want to have a lot of outdoor games this year um so please reach out um we're, we're trying to wrap this up so i can get the flyer out um and get marketing started so please mm -hmm. reach out to me um, Lace, for lunch by the river. Lacey, I know that uh, years of doing this, uh, I've heard from a lot of people who have been, uh, whether it's a co-sponsor or the single sponsor of one of these events, and hear how much they talk about this. Not only how it helps their business, um, but it helps get them out there and reach people that maybe they wouldn't reach otherwise. Is there feedback or is there kind of comments that you've heard o over the time you've been doing this uh, about why it's so great to be a part of an event like Lunch by the River? Yes, and it's, I mean, with it, with it being an event that's been going on for over 30 years, I think it's a great way to if you haven't had time to kind of get out um, you know bring your team out I, I love walking around and doing the Facebook live introducing your team if you have any upcoming events if you have any like any changes things like that that you want to um, you know share with everyone in this area as well as there's different you know different kind of food trucks free activities it's it's a free event so come out if you want to just, you know, have fun with your family, obviously the kids are going to be out. So um, we are, we have a lot of fun plans. August 1st is going to be a kid's day. Um, so I'm trying to gear that as a lot of different, you know, little entities in this area, a lot of nonprofits that work with kids, um, as well as activities for event for the event. Um, so please reach out. I would love the more the merrier, um, to be honest, as well as we are still looking for some food vendors for all dates. Um, we have a couple that are going to be there for all dates, but we have a couple that we're trying to fit in for certain ones. Um, but I would like to have closer to five to seven food trucks at every single date. So I have three secured for every single date. And then I have um, like three more that are going to be, you know, once or twice a month, um, kind of just depending on when they can, you know, come down here. But I really, really want to have different things. So please reach out um, as well as I've made some contact um, with some other fun entertainment mm -hmm. ideas mm -hmm. um so i'm just waiting to hear back from them um fingers crossed that we can have something different um hopefully they have some availability yeah. and we can we can do something fun i think that'll bring down a lot of people otherwise lacy stuck with me showing up down there doing like monologues and uh juggling I and that I, would be fun too. Yeah, I mean the monologue thing might be all right but i'm not a good juggler like i've never juggled i don't know why i would go down there and do that but i yeah, will you just, just that so one. that we have invent just so we have something going on over there uh we have a lot of great entertainers a lot of good people out there that might not think that you might be doing something that would be fun for that but imagine the setting of lunch by the river and imagine you doing this act of whatever it is there i bet you it fits 
Yes. Reach out to Lacey and find out. Please reach out to me. That's 715-422-4859. One last note I had on this, uh, Lacey, and, and this is uh, your fault because you brought oh, what you brought up and you were talking about this. I think you brought up a great point. We have so many great businesses around here that have different events in the summer. What a great way to help promote that event Absolutely. by being a part of Lunch by the River. Yes. That's a great idea. Absolutely. And we, I think it's a huge thing, especially with like the, the recreational outdoor mm-hmm. things. Um, I don't have a problem with having booths of other things that are going on um, in the upcoming months. Um, I think it's good to kind of show everyone what our community has to offer. Um, so what what a better way. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the Cranberry Blossom Festival, uh, craft and vendor opportunities, uh, the parade itself, so many opportunities with that one coming up as well. Yes, um, we are, I think we're almost a little bit over half full. All right. Um, All right. So very, very exciting for that. Um, I've been trying, I want to get different vendors. I want to get different things going on there. Um, I would love to have um, some live music there. Um, I think that it would be fun to kind of bring everything together. Um, obviously, with the parade this year, we're going to do all things cranberry. So it'll be the first time we're having a theme, um, which I think will help some businesses that are like, I don't know how to decorate or yeah. I don't really know what to do. So um, I think and then we'll obviously do some prizes and do some judging. So that will be fun um, as well as obviously the craft and vendor fair. Please reach out if you have interest. We have availability for 12 by 12 booths and 12 by 24. Um, and it doesn't have to just be some kind of craft. Um, if you have there, I mean, we've had people where we've had bird um, bird watching groups mm-hmm. um, come and educate. I think that education is definitely important and that's a great way to reach a lot of people. Um, that is also a free event for the public. So we get a lot of traffic there. Um, please reach out if you're interested. Um, if you, you know, if you make little things or if you have things that you think, oh, well, this would be fun, um, you know, reach out to me. I, I'm not going to, you know, tell you and nothing is a bad idea mm-hmm. and I want to do different things. I, there's a lot of 3D printers, a lot of dried foods, um, and I think that's a great way to, you know, showcase all the entrepreneurs that this local area has to offer. This event, uh, well, you, you, especially with the Chamber, but a lot of our nonprofits and, and our, our businesses around here have some great local events that we look forward to uh, given uh, certain seasons, especially in summer when we're all itching to get out and everything. I, I don't think it's a, a, a stretch to say that this is our signature event, that this is the event in our area that almost everybody knows about. It's yes. one of the, it is certainly, if not the most popular, one of the top two, three most popular events we have in this area. It's been gone around for a long time. It is well established up and down the state. To have your business a part of that, when you know that news outlets are going to be covering it and having footage of it, when you know that other the local people are going to be bopping around and checking it out, as you mentioned, it's a free event. Um, if I got a marketing budget, this is one of the main things I'm using it for, yes. is this event. Absolutely. We have sponsorships available for this event as well. Um, and then with it being leap year, it also falls on the state trap shooting weekend. Uh. Um, so I think there, like almost all the hotels in this area are sold out for mm. that weekend. Um, and I think probably the, the aqua skiers the next month. Um, so definitely a lot of things going on um, during the summer. We also still have some availability for Gather by the Gazebo. I'm looking for one sponsor for August, um, as well as entertainment for that event. And then food vendor, uh, f- like I would like to have one exclusive food vendor for that um, for all those dates. And obviously Gather by the Gazebo is ju- uh, June 11th, July 9th, and August 13th. Um, Rome is such a huge area right now. It is just blowing up. Um, I've been taking a lot of calls with having, apparently we're having some local talent coming to Mm -hmm. Rome Mm -hmm. um, and they want to record. Mm. So they want, they were like, they were calling the chamber to ask, you know, what, where can we record? Where's Mm -hmm. a good place to get a sunrise or to get a sunset in the Rome area? Um, So that, that area is definitely getting really, really popular. Um, so I think if you're a local business, um, especially if you have some ties to Rome or the Nakusa area, um, I think that's a great way to kind of showcase your business out there. The Rome Farmers Market's going to kick off next month, and I'll be there once a month. Mm-hmm. Um, really excited for that, um, as well as Rendezvous in the Park, which is in Nakusa. And then we are looking for entertainment for that event. Um, I have been trying to reach out to some people that are more local, so schools. I would love to have the, the kids come down from each school. Um, so we're kind of in talks right now for that, um, as well as a July food vendor. So I'm, mm-hmm. I've am i been trying to get some different stuff. I, yeah. I really want um, 
people to to come to these events and I want them to have fun. I want it to be a safe place for younger kids, older kids and their parents to be to be able to all have fun. Um, so if you have any ideas for activities, um, if you have some things that you have going on, um, if you have, I, I would love to have martial arts or Taekwondo. Mm-hmm. I would love to do some different kinds of things, um, get the kids active. I think that mental health is something that we need to be focusing on. And I think that the boxing and the martial arts, the Taekwondo, I think all of those really help. Um, so I would love if hopefully someone's listening and they can, they can chime in someone's ear because I really, really want to have something like that out there. It's a really good point. Um, I was a knucklehead growing up, and I would have been even worse without Never. boxing. I can't without even see bo- that. I, 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 <laughs> without boxing, I wouldn't have had no structure. Uh, it's it's a good point about martial arts and those things. It's always great to have that. And it's nice to touch on mental health wherever we can, whatever yes. the topic is. You brought up a couple of really great things there, Lacey, that I wanted to touch on. One, uh, if anybody's looking for uh, anywhere to record something, I think I can think of a place or two where we could do some recording. Absolutely. Um, when we get a chance to talk about the Rome area, Area. We have to take it. That you are so right about this. Uh, the, with Sand Valley and so many other things going on over there, that area is only growing more and more. And uh, my family and I, when we first moved here, we moved to the Rome area, lived there for my first couple of years in this state, and love that area so much. I'm, it's so cool to see what's happening over there. So when you're a part of something like one of these events that we're talking about, Gather by the Gazebo, Rendezvous in the Park, or something like that, you're you're in that area. Er- you're getting into that area. You're you're putting your name, your business in that area. Area, which is blowing up and growing. And as anybody around here knows, especially from what I just said, you got a lot of transplants. You got a lot of uh, people coming from out of state sometimes. So maybe your business gets seen by somebody from there and you just never know where that leads, where that goes. Absolutely. And I think a lot of people are very like, oh, I, what's trending? What's trending? What? It's it's Rome. Like mm-hmm. I'm, I'm yeah, like, yeah, if you're yes. wondering what's trending, it's Rome. That's the area that you should be focusing on. Um, if you are a, you know, if you are wanting to get in somewhere, they have the farmers market. They have a lot of businesses that have kind of just been popping up. Um, and they're they're local. They're people that they care about this community. They are invested in this community. They are have they're raising their families here. Um, especially with, I mean, Sand Valley, they are, mm-hmm. they're getting a lot of people out there that are that are famous that are coming here to golf. And so they're coming to this area. They're seeing this area. They're seeing those, you know, those flyers when they're staying, when they're staying here. So they're seeing your business. So I think it's, it's great to get out there. I think we, we only looking for one sponsor for that one. That one grew, grew really, really great. And we had to switch something because they weren't available for, to be Mm, there. mm. Um, so that one's just the August 13th date. Um, but it's, it's a great area, especially with the Rome farmer's market. If you are a local food vendor, if you're trying to get, get in somewhere, um, I think the food market, you know, in, in Rapids and Nakusa, and we, we have so many places for you to go out and make an impact. Um, and you just have to, you know, get out there, smile, Mm -hmm. talk to people, get excited, be passionate about your business, share your why. And I think that you will find that people really do, people really do care. Yeah, definitely. We're speaking with Lacey Ailing, Events and Engagement Director with our Heart of Wisconsin Chamber of Commerce. And Lacey, one of the things we were going to talk about today and focus on a little bit was the community leadership and teen leadership uh, celebration and, and yes. sponsorship opportunities for that. Yes, we have. So we have six. So with community leadership and teen leadership, we have three awards for each. Um, one, I believe, is almost full for that for the awards. But if you are interested, um, please reach out to Laura. It's workforce at WisconsinRapidsChamber.com. Um, she has the best contact information information for the award sponsors. Um, but you would essentially be on that. Um, you're, you're on there forever. Mm-hmm. So that someone is going to be given that award, um, be the like the most improved participant mm-hmm. um, or the business that made a huge impact um, when they went and visited. There was a lot of dates that you know we went to all these different businesses. So we're going to recognize them for letting us come in, sharing things about their business, taking the time out of their day. Um, some, some of these businesses were closed um, mm-hmm. and they opened specifically just to let in um, myself as well as my community leadership and then the cool team leadership. Mm-hmm. Um, so it, definitely great to um, you know show that you support the leaders in this community. You support what we're doing, um, what the chamber is you know pushing for and to keep that talent here. Um, so definitely reach out to Laura um, if you're interested in sponsoring that, as well as there are some other sponsorship, you know, kind of little other little things you can do. Um, but the award is the big one for that one. Um, so definitely reach out. We're going to have food. It's going to be a dinner. We're going to recognize everyone that has participated. 
Uh, and you brought in uh, Tanya here to talk a little bit about the leadership class. And Tanya, thank you again for joining us. I appreciate the time. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? What, uh, what field do you come from? What business do you work at? Um, I actually work at Bank Account Corporation. We are actually located in Rudolph, and we uh, deal with anyone's businesses where we print um, computer checks, laser checks, envelopes, uh, personal checks. I actually run the personal check area. So. Right on. Uh, shout out to them. And uh, we always like supporting our local businesses. And a big thank you to them for uh, letting us bower you for a little bit here and everything. Uh, Tanya, uh, wh- what did you what did your uh, what did you take from the leadership class? Uh, how much did you enjoy it? Um, it's actually very interesting because growing up in this area, I've always been around the area, but I never knew much about the community and the heart of um, Wisconsin uh, program. I didn't know much about it. So it's really neat to learn and what actually comes involved into the community to get out of the community. Yeah. Uh, was um, the opera, so you already touched on it a little bit, but I imagine the people as well you got to run into that you probably haven't met before and made connections that you wouldn't have made otherwise. Yes, there's definitely a group of people, especially in our um, area and our group that we're with. You get to learn about all these different companies and areas that they have businesses that you don't always know about. Mm. Um, Was there anything uh, that that, uh, really stood out to you about the leadership class that you really, really enjoyed? Or was the whole thing just a great experience? I just loved going around to the different areas and and stuff like I I knew about like Mid-State and seeing the new jail, what the progress is Mm -hmm. was really neat to know and how what all took into becoming that. Mm Um, when, when it comes to the the uh, lessons, the things that you learn, are there is there notes and different things that you're going to be able to take from this and move and you add to your field, add to your job as you go forward? Yes, it, it's very interesting to learn different ways to communicate and different ways leadership can be done and that I will take with me back to my work. Yeah, uh, is this something that you would recommend to others? Yes, if anyone's interested in it, it's a great opportunity to learn about the community and skills to learn that you might not know. Is there anything else you wanted to touch on about the the leadership class, Tanya? Mm-hmm. Uh, I, th- I think you covered it pretty good. Yeah, you probably covered it pretty good. And you did a great job, by the way. Nice work. Nice yeah. work. Nicely done. Lacey, I see why you brought Tanya. She's yeah. good. She's good. She did a good job. Uh, I-, I know that you and I talk about the leadership class and the teen leadership cl- uh, program uh, a number of times, but this is one of those ones that I, I want to hit on every time you join us. I think it's important. I think it's one of those things that uh, stands out in our area and stands out that the chamber does. Absolutely. And I like, so earlier this month, I should say, April's still here, we went to Baraboo and toured their um, community. And it was it was wonderful to kind of see their their impact with even just the Ringling Brothers and everything that they have there. It's very like, it's not like it's, it's not a theme, but you can feel that that is something that they definitely, they care about. They know they're, no, they know they're known for it. They know that that kind of put them on the map um, and they, they definitely ran with it. So they, they have this, you can tell that it's kind of throughout it's kind of like weaved throughout Mm -hmm. their community as well as they have a lot of the same things that that we're you know we're going through it's the workforce um Mm -hmm. affordable housing Mm -hmm. child care uh, we're all going through the same thing so people are when people think oh okay well it's just because you're living rapids Mm -hmm. no it's really it's really an issue everywhere um housing affordable housing is definitely an issue that's going on everywhere Mm -hmm. um some of these counties i think they're just more aware um of the things that they can do to get assistance um Mm -hmm. or to get those grants that we're not always aware of um so i think it's it's great to go tour other places see what they have to offer um my favorite was probably the gun range we Mm. went and toured um i thought that was really fun to kind of get in there and see um you know i i think an indoor shooting range is is a great stress reliever as well um so that was really fun um and we also toured um like the save cows warehouse type company where they made like little shoes for cows um as well as um we went we kind of got to go explore baraboo and then we got to see like their theater Mm. which was crazy yeah um the amount of craftsmanship that go that went into things beautiful um Mm. It's just so much time that we that you could see that it, like the skill level from the carving, um, you know, to like the the velvet to mm-hmm. every you know, and, like, everything was like gold and it was so beautiful. There was like hand painted, um, like the bro- the eight brothers and their yeah. sister, and it's it's crazy the amount of time that is spent in that. 
Um, and they're they're making sure they're taking care of it. And I think yeah. if you take just like relationships, just mm-hmm. like jobs, if you take care of things, they last. Yeah. Um, and that's something that I think they they cherish that, and you can tell that they care. Um, and I think when you go in there, it just makes you like, oh my goodness. Yeah. Like, this is in Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. Um, Some of the stuff that was in there, they modeled it off after, like, Italy and other places. And I think that that was an hour and a half drive from us. And I've never, ever heard of it. So I think just knowing all the things you have that this this town this community um that this um especially with this group that has to offer it's it's crazy the amount of information and knowledge that i know i've gotten and i work at the chamber and i still didn't know about a lot of this stuff um as well as watching the the participants evolve um from our first meeting and like how we were all kind of like uh we like we it took time to just build those relationships and Mm -hmm. now i think it's going to be hard to not see them every month. I think it's yeah. going to be hard when we're like, okay, now what we need, like now we're going to have to figure out a way to like go get lunch with these people right. um, or spend time with them because I think they have definitely like, it's it's so funny. It's mm-hmm. just like, and you, you find people that you don't think that you necessarily would have gotten along with or people like, you know, it's hard to make friends when you're older. Oh, God, so I yeah. think it's, it's really fun to be in this, you know, type of situation where you can network. Mm-hmm. Um, I've been e- emailing back and forth with uh, Mariani to try to, you know, for, because cranberries are such a huge thing here. So yeah. now I finally have a contact there. Very um, cool. So we, yeah, but yeah, definitely reach out if you're interested. The cool teen leadership is also open um, for registration for next year. That's sophomores for any um you know rapids pittsville nakusa assumption um you know rudolph any of that any of that area um that you think you live in you definitely reach out if you are you know private school public school we want um those kids to stay here so we should show them what we have to offer when uh, um as we're wrapping up got about a minute left wanted to just give a shout out to the new website you guys have a wonderful new website encourage yes. everybody to check that out go to wisconsinrapidschamber.com wisconsinrapidschamber.com bookmark that page and check it out over and over again it's a good way to keep up to date everything going on in our community and Lacey if people have follow-up questions about uh, some of the events we talked about or the community leadership or team leadership groups, uh, how can people get in touch with you? Yes, absolutely. Please reach out. Um, we all have our phone numbers linked to our um, our you know our, our website, but also um, you can always just call the chamber office and that's 715-422-4852. Um, and then our um, all of our information, you can just kind of go right to us. Um, but definitely reach out. Um, we'd love to talk to you. Yeah. Tanya, thank you again for joining us. Appreciate the time. Yes, thank you for the invite. It was awesome to be here. Always good to see you, Lacey. We'll talk again real soon. Thank you. And we'll have more Midday Magazine coming up right here at 97.5 FM, 1320 AM, WFHR. We are locally grown radio.